Here we have a Lenovo Yoga 700 2 in 1 14 inch model We're going to open up and explore the insides To start off, you're going to need your laptop Flip to the back We're going to need to remove a few screws on the back Which I'm pointing out now You need a torque screwdriver to remove these screws Please note my yoga is actually the 14 inch model there's the 13 inch model, 15 inch model and 11 inch model as well this should be the same as the 13 and 15 but the 11 will be different as it's a smaller laptop and it has different components compared to the other two So now we're going to get our prying tool to pry around the edges. It came off pretty easily. You don't really have to pry off around the edges. Just need to open one side and shove your fingers into it and um, you can lift it up from there. So here we go. There's the hard drive, RAM, battery, fan 1, fan 2. CPU, graphic card, wireless card so we're going to remove the hard drive there's four screws holding the hard drive down and you need to remove the tab this hard drive is a two and a half inch thin hard drive at seven millimeters thick it does not take your thicker hard drive of, of your normal nine millimeters thick This is the only type of storage it has, only one hard drive slot, there's no other hard drives available on this laptop. So after you remove it, just lift it up and it comes off. So just showing you again, it's a thin version, 7mm thick. Next we're going to remove the RAM, so you push it out the two sides and you pull at the RAM. There's only one RAM slot on this, so you only can upgrade it to whatever is max for one RAM slot. If it's DDR3, then it's 8 gigs. If it's DDR4, it is 16 gigs. So we're going to remove the battery. There's four screws holding the battery down. So after you remove the four screws, remember to un unplug the power, the cable for the battery and just lift it up and that's basically it. I'm just going to bring it just closer to you so you can look at the model number if you need to replace it. So next, we're going to remove the heatsink. So you're going to have to remove two screws on each fan, and the heatsink itself has six screws, I believe, or five. 
Please note when you remove the heatsink screws, you can remove it in any order, but when you put it back, you need to place it back in order, in order to spread out the thermal paste evenly. When you remove the heatsink, you have to clean it and remove the old thermal paste and replace it with newer thermal paste. Don't be cheap on your thermal paste, thermal paste doesn't cost a lot. It costs basically $10 per tube and you can probably use it 15 times. Now we remove all the screws, we're going to have to remove the fan cables. You're going to have to remove the wireless cable as well. The wireless antenna cables um, are routed into the fan. Same with the LCD cable here on the other side, it's also routed into the fan. So to clean the thermal paste off, just use just use a towel or a tissue. You don't need any special liquids or alcohols to do it. Try to clean it to the best of your ability. I took the heatsink off the screen to clean it, as it's easier for me to clean it on my lap. Now you just have, well, I have to clean the CPU and the graphic card. The top is the most important part. If you can't clean, if you can't clean the sides, don't try too hard. We just need the top to be clean. So here you go, here's my heating, just to show you, it's clean. Just use a towel and rub it and it gets clean. Try not to use tissue if you don't, if you don't have a towel. Try to not use tissue if you have a towel. Tissue is quite bad as it breaks when you rub it. And you don't want tissue parts just anywhere. We're going to reapply thermal paste now. I'm um, using Noctor NTH1. Like I said before, this only costs around $10 per tube. So we want to put half a rice grain on each chip. So the graphic, uh, the CPU has two, which is the two shiny parts. We want to put it in the center and not spread it out. Same with the graphic card. We want to put half a size of thermal paste on it, half a rice grain size of thermal paste on it in the center and remember not to spread it out. We're going to get our heating. We're going to put it on top, remember not to press it down, we want the screws to press it down, we want to avoid pressing it down ourselves, and we let the when we screw it in, it will spread it out itself evenly. So I'm just going to show you which screw you have to screw in first. The screws have numbers, so just follow my order and you'll be fine. The numbers next to the screw hole on the heating. It's a bit hard to see if you can't see it. Just so just follow what I'm doing and you'll be fine. It's not a big deal if you don't screw it in, in order, but it's just best to do it. Your computer's not gonna blow up if you don't if you don't screw it in order or nothing big will happen. In most cases you'll be fine. So here's our wireless card. We need to remove one screw to remove it. After you remove it, you just have to wiggle it out and it comes out. So there you go. Thanks for watching.